Hi there, it's Denise Lush back again for part two of my print project. In part one we created this background using acrylic inks on our 12 by 12 gel plate just to get an overall background color. And then we went in with some gel press petites in the hexagon, chevron, a three inch circle, and then we also used a four inch circle with some stencils. So now we're gonna add more to our background with some stamping, maybe some doodling, and we'll just see where it goes. So you can see I have gone in with some stamping and a few different colors and a few different stamps. Um, I have some like ledger, some circles, and some X's. And I went in with black ink and a blue and a pink. I also traced around some of the gel plates. Um, the hexagon I traced around with a black pen and then just some of the lettering and the numbers I did with white. So now to I find if something looks busy like to me this looks busy and to calm it down I like to add more white. I find black and white help ground things. So I'm going to go in with this Caravelle Studio stencil. It's pattern 1930. And I'm going to go in with some white paint. And I'm just going to apply it with a makeup wedge and white acrylic paint.
So our background has been completed with all our outlinings of the shapes and additional stamping and stenciling. And my idea for this piece of canvas is to make a book cover. So I have this Dilutions journal and my thought is to create a sleeve for the journal. So the first so the first thing I'm going to do is cut down my canvas to the length of this book. Now I want mine so the edge of the canvas is just slightly beyond the top of the book. Now you can flip this over so if you have a favorite area like me, I like the top more than I like the bottom. Like, I love this area. Even though this will be on the inside, I do, although <laughs> I'm torn because I like this bottom area as well and it's just not going to work out. So I'm gonna place mine, I'm gonna use the top portion. But I'm gonna come slightly down. So I'm going to cut mine I'm just going to make a little mark at the bottom. And with my paper trimmer I'm just going to fold my canvas Now the idea is to find the middle. So that will go there. And then we will fold the canvas over. So of course since I'm doing a print project, I goofed. <laughs> I made a mistake and I can't fix it in order for it to work for this. So we're still going to do a journal cover, but it's going to be for a different album. Because my mistake, and I'll show you what I did so you don't do it, is when I took, when I cut this, I should have cut it larger than the cover because what we're going to do is sew these two. We need to sew it along these two ends. So we won't be using this one. Just remember whatever journal you choose, what it, maybe it's a notebook, just make it big enough that you have room to sew on each side. So I'm going to use this Dina Wakely journal instead because it's still long enough. So I'm finding that center. this is the way it's going to be. It's going to wrap around like that. So now to see how big we want it. I want to leave enough room for sewing. So 
So I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm just going to sew along here and here, just on the top portions. So then I can put this back on my journal and get an idea of where I want to cut it. So I've just sewn along the top in those two spots. In order to slip your covering, you're probably, you have to bend your book backwards. And you'll slip your covers in. So I'm looking at this and I'm going to want to I'm going to sew it around here. Like I want to give it enough wiggle room. I don't want to make it tight because then it will be harder to get the cover, the journal in there. So I'm just going to make a little mark. side as well. So I just love the look of that. So we'll actually have something pretty on the inside of our journal as well. So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and just sew along here. Okay, so now that we have sewn those, I am going to draw a line from here to here because now that it's our final, I want it fairly straight. So I'm just going to go like one eighth of an inch on the side of my line. I'm going to grab a pencil just draw a line and then I'm going to cut it with my scissors now if you don't have a sewing machine you can either hand sew this you can use double sided tape um, maybe some, what's it called, heat and bond, it, there's a, like this no sew tape, you could use that. So we're just going to slip one end in there, like I said you'll have to bend it backwards a little. And then slip in your other end. And there's your journal cover. Now over time this will fray a little, which is how I like it. So it'll look nice and worn. So we've made our journal cover and it's very easy to slip on and off. We even have some canvas left over so if you have a small journal you could even cover another one. I took a few strips and put some on the top of some paper clips. So now you can mark a place in your journal that you're working on. Because this paper's thick, so I'll just put over one piece. So there you go. can gel print a journal cover and some embellishments.